With rents on the rise, is now the time to buy? According to recent data from Realtor.com, median rental prices have reached their highest point ever recorded in many areas across the country. The report found that rents rose by 8.1% from the same time last year. As it notes, beyond simply recovering to pre-pandemic levels, rent across the country is surging. Typically, rents fluctuate between 1% from month to month. In May and June, rents increased from 3% and 3.2% from month to next. If you're a renter concerned about rising prices, now may be the time to consider purchasing a home. Monthly rents are higher than monthly mortgage payments in most cases. When you're weighing your options of whether to buy a home or continue renting, how much you'll pay each month is likely top of mind. According to the National Association of Realtors, monthly mortgage payments are rising, but they're still significantly lower than your typical rent. NAR, National Association of Realtors, indicates that the latest data on homes closing show that the median monthly mortgage payment is a $1,204. By contrast, the median national rent is $1,575, according to the most current data provided by Realtor.com. In other words, buyers who recently purchased a home locked in a monthly payment that is, on average, $371 a month lower than what renters are paying today. Okay. So, rents are rising sharply, and they're continuing to increase. I'm in property management. I see it. The difference is monthly housing costs when compared to renting and home buying today is significant, but many would-be home buyers wonder about the future of rental prices. If we look at historical census data as a reference, the median asking rent has risen consistently since 1988. So um, the rise in the rent over time, it clearly shows that one of the major advantages of home ownership has over renting stable housing costs renters face increasing costs every year when you purchase your home your mortgage rate is locked in for 30 years meaning your monthly payment stays the same over time excluding taxes and ins um, insurance now that gives you a welcome peace of mind and predictability for many years ahead the bottom line is with rents continuing to rise across the country, renters should consider if now is the right time to buy. There are multiple benefits of buying sooner rather than later. Hey, if you want to talk about that, let me know. The big thing is the longer that you wait, the less you're going to be able to afford. And what I mean by that is as prices continue to rise, your income can only support a certain amount of, of uh, a mortgage. So as the prices are going up, you're shrinking the ability of what you can afford to buy. I'm in property management. The rents have been going nuts. We've been taking things that have been on the market for $1,500, raising them to $1,800, and they're renting right away. Why are the owners doing that? Because the prices of houses are going up. So that means that their insurance costs are going up. That means that their property taxes are going up. And who absorbs that? The renter. So right now may be the best time to get out of renting and start home ownership. Take advantage of the rising home prices. Get that increased equity. Take a chance and buy into a house to help secure your financial future for your retirement. If you have any questions, my name is David Karras. My number is 210-319-9713 and I'm with Karras Randolph.